Good evening, one today is Wednesday, October 4, 2023. Jeff Day 4, Thursday the 5th. All right, let's go. Well, as far as official setups, so let's stick with the CCJ in here. Notice I tweaked the parameters up a bit based on its slide and look at it as a chart. Uh, of course, not much, not much to report in the portfolio today. No changes in the stops, obviously. We'll get to that in just one second. Let me show you something real quick. In the energies, this TTI initially caught my eye, but the more I looked at it, the more I kind of picked it apart. It's come all the way back to its prior little breakout. So I'm going to pass there. As you'll see in a minute, energy got whacked pretty hard. It kind of makes me feel good now listening to the database. And the database was basically saying there's not a whole lot of setups, nothing meaningful, in spite of energies being in a pretty good trend. So doesn't mean that we won't get setups in energies, but it looks like we missed a potential fake out to the upside, followed by a reversal. There are some in here that are beginning to set up that we could go after at some point in time. But for now, let's just hold off. Few shorts in here, semiconductor related type of shorts. Let's just hold off on the shorts too for now. Let's see if this market will bounce and let's see where it takes us. Let's take a look at the portfolio and then we'll pop out to the overall market. And the thing that that I'm seeing in a lot of Landry list type of stocks and a lot of stocks on my momentum list is they look okay and then they just absolutely get whacked after a bit of a rally. So it makes me feel pretty good that we've been really conservative. I'm not fishing for a compliment. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. But if, it makes me feel good that we didn't get too aggressive. And given the more conditions, there was no reason to do so. ELF, a little bit of a bounce after a nice little sell-off there. Not much to report other than that, but it does look like it's still in lots and lots and lots of trouble. KBH, a little bit of bounce too. It looks like the downtrend, downtrend remains intact there, at least for now. I'd feel a lot better once we bang out that eye. PT. If we get fairly close, don't split hairs as usual. A nice little bounce in KNF on your stop just in case, but good to see it finding a little bit of support toward the bottom of its range. A little bit of a bounce too. Better than the poke in the eye and LFMD. Not a new closing high, so no need to adjust any stops. Now let's take a look at the overall market. I guess the theme today is bounce mode and not a whole lot to get too excited about just because we bounced a bit. Let's take a look at the S&P. 500 you can see S&P 500 a little bit of a bounce but pretty serious slide in place lots of Landry light below that 30 EMA so for now it just doesn't look so hot in here let's take a look at the NASDAQ NASDAQ composite a little bit of a bounce too finding a little bit of support in here it's better than the poke in the eye but I wouldn't rush out and buy the NASDAQ unless it went straight back up and for me to get bullish it would have to take out this right side of the shoulder and obviously it ideally I should say keep on keeping on bitcoin was a little bit strong today so that's good to see bitcoin in general has been outperforming stocks as of late let's take a look at the energies energies got whacked in here pretty hard so it doesn't mean that we won't see setups here but this is a pretty serious spanking and we've given up a lot of this recent breakout in here so let's just see how it all shakes out we had kind of a shallow pullback here i wanted a little bit deeper one and you see we had that fake out to the upside and then it imploded. Now, we won't always miss losing trades. If you've been with me for a little while, you probably know that. <laughs> but it's good every now and then just to stick to your guns and avoid moves such as this one. A fake out to the upside followed by a reversal down. The market will often do what it has to do to frustrate the most amount of people. And that looks like a pretty frustrating move. Looks like it's going up and then roll right back over. Let's take a look at some other areas in here. Really, just not a whole lot to report. A lot of areas remaining in pretty serious downtrends. Just a little bit of a bounce today, such as banks. Defense continues to slide in here. Just absolutely has been floating as of late. Manufacturing, none of those areas that looks toppy. Just a little bit of a bounce. So that's kind of the rule today, or kind of the what I'm seeing today in a lot of these areas. Let's take a look at physical uranium, and then a couple other things. We'll wrap it up. Uh, physical uranium looking pretty good. If you're looking to gain a little exposure to the metal, this might not be a bad way to go. S-R-U-U-F. Nice little pullback to the 30 EMA, Landry Light pullback. So that might give you a little bit of exposure to uranium while we're looking to set up some positions in, indiv in individual stocks like CCJ. I think that's it for tonight. Everybody have a great night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much.